Hello everybody, welcome back to your favourite FC24 series on YouTube, it's Beer Goalkeeper, episode 63. Looking at the Premier League table, we are 11 points behind Liverpool, we are sitting in 5th position, still with plenty of games left to play, so it's all to play for still, we could gather up a little run of form, but probably not, we'll find out. But also, I did mess up, I did record earlier and I deleted the footage. So we missed out on the match against Luton Town in the FA Cup, which we did win, and the semi-final double leg against Plymouth Argyle, which we did win as well, so we moved to the final of the Cowboy Cup and we lost to Nottingham Forest. But now, what you're all here for, I decided to go for it, we are now a 99 rated overall goalkeeper, look at those stats, ridiculous. Wow. Now it's time to see if it's all worth it, pushing the stats all the way up, literally becoming the best goalkeeper in the world. And the first match is against Wolverhampton Wonders. We are away from home. To be fair, I should be able to keep a clean sheet against Wolves. We'll find out though. Ten minutes in, they get the first opportunity. A lovely through ball there. Now into the painted box. He's coming close to my near post. Cuts it back. Gets the pass off. Takes a heavy touch and we do clear our lines. Lucky for me, I was all over the place a little bit. No Fofana. Bye, have a great time. Pick up the ball in the midfield. Gets past the defender. I charge it into the painted box. One of the goalkeeper. What can it do? Slots it away. Actually pile drives it straight past the goalkeeper. What a darting run from that man, Fofana. Barna on the score sheet once again. So, so easy for him. Literally, I like, dropped past the defender. The burst of pace into box. One on the goalkeeper and rifles it. Too much power. Beats the goalkeeper. He can't even react to it. It's so close to him as well. Look at that. Just under his, or over his hand there. Puts us 1 0 in the lead with our first shot on target. Wolves trying to get back into this match. So, left side of my penalty box, passing it around, trying to make that bit of space. Man in the way. Blinks a block. Tries to clear it. Falls back to another one. Straight down my throat. And I gather it up as well. Again, they're building their pressure now. Gets past my defense line. Way too easy. Hits a lot. Long range and no problem at all. Good strong right hand, but still the passing and moving and getting to the paint box once again near post. I'm there again, determined to keep a clean sheet. I predicted the wall strike. He's only ever going to go at that near post. If he goes across me, I'm pretty screwed. But look at it, 14 meters away. Bang! Two strong hands. 99 all around. Now into the dynamics of the first half. Mudrick down the left side of the pitch gets past his defender and runs down the byline. Look at him getting tugged back. Gets the pass off to Nkuku. Slides the ball into Lejeune. Takes a shot from an awkward angle. Falls back out to him and it's she gets that goal, making it 2 0. Literally at the byline. I'm not sure why he's not passing it across to Fofana, who's in acres of space. Takes the shot, gets so fortunate. But that tight angle to finish it from there, we have to give it a little bit of credit, but it should have passed it anyway. But it's a good finish. Makes up for that little bit of a mistake. Slots it away. 2 0 is the score going into the halftime interval. Wolves are going to be very disappointed. They've had some pretty golden opportunities, but they couldn't quite get on the score sheet. I am there blocking them because I'm 99 rated, obviously. Into the second half, we go. With the ball in the midfield for Fana making a run. He gets found over a lovely through ball. He's got a burst of pace. We know that. Into the penalty box once again. One of the goalkeepers. What's a cheeky chip over him? You naughty, naughty. He is absolutely filthy. The composure and the outright naughtiness to do that. Look at it. So cheeky. Keeper. It wasn't even on the floor. Side underneath it in the end. And it literally just under the crossbar. You see it from this angle. He gets the right amount of height on it. Defender can't get touched. But look how close it is. Slots perfectly in there. What a goal. 3 0 now. Two for Fafana. Wall still trying their best to get back in this game. A lovely block there by my left back. But to get the ball back again. Another block as well. Eventually gets past the ball to me. Little hospital pass. I don't compose myself and I panic. But I do kick it out of play. But from that corner, when the header in the post, I'm there with a save. Man on line as well would have blocked it. But still, plenty of time in this match. And Wolves are still trying to get back into it. Can they get the first goal? Long range and no trouble at all. Another lovely save. 15 minutes left. They're still whipping the ball into the middle. Good defensive clearance. But out to their striker what can he do nothing i get a touch to it from this angle look a little tiny touch there you see the fingers move flick it over the bar what a ridiculous save now he's five minutes left we try like a long range keeper will save it for that to sterling holy look at all this damage we have just been absolutely lethal with these finishes we get a bit lucky to be fair, that's toxic though look at him running through tommy Asu there but the long range strike keeper makes a little bit of meal of it he pushes it out to a decent angle but sterling is there to pounce on it he nearly gets a touch he does actually push it into his own goal but they give the goal to sterling four nil we'll still try and at the end of the game no problem gather it from that corner we win four nil first match is a 99 rated and it's a clean sheet and an 8.2 rating eight saves out of eight ridiculous they had 16 shots by the way their goalkeeper didn't do too well 4.0 rating 
on to the next match now, which is against Aston Villa, still in the league. Another winner do us absolutely lovely. Aston Villa are a pretty good team. You see Andy Robinson, and they've got Sancho as well. They've been building a team to win the league, maybe, or even at least get Champions League football. Hopefully, we can destroy them here, but they get the first opportunity. My defender runs out, loses track of the ball, and they get shot off here. Look at that for a save. Down low, nice and easy save in the end from Santo, but he just hit it pretty well. They get a good strong hand, no trouble at all. Our first opportunity now in the 16th minute. The ball played around quickly into Harvey Elliott here. Holds up the play a little bit, finds out the man who shall not be named. We do not speak his name. If you know, you know, but he does score a goal, putting us 1-0 in the lead. He runs off celebrating in, I don't know why people are chasing him, but you know, it is what it is. But look at that little pass from Harvey Elliott, by the way. I don't know when we signed him, but I happily will take it. Gets an assist on his debut, I believe it is, by the way. It's a good goal as well. Keeper should be doing a little bit better. Pope in the goal for Aston Villa. But now, 40th minute on the clock, we have Chukwueze actually mugging off the defender. Gets past him into the box now. It's Nkuku holds up the player one more time into Harvey Elliott. What can he do? Slots it away for a goal on his debut. A goal and an assist. What a finish. But Chukwueze deserves the credit. And Nkuku with the assist as well. Way too easy. Quick passing, the snow on the ground, maybe they're distracted by it, but look at that. Nick Pope stands tall, but he's so slow at reacting there, can't get his hands up, and we're 2 0 up going into the half time interval. Aston Villa have had one okay opportunity. We've been pretty dominant from the looks of it, and now we get the kickoff into the second half. Can we carry on this and get another goal? But in the 65th minute, now they got ball drilled across the box on the half volley. Oh my god! Not gonna lie, that could quite possibly be the best save I've made in this career. On the half volley, hits it so well, but the hand is strong onto Neil and gather it up as well. B E A U T F O. Aston Villa still trying their luck to get back in the game with the ball towards that back point. When they dive the header, and I'm there again with another save. Harvey Elliott on the ball now. Pointless flick into another pointless flick, but the finish is there. Lejeune with a pile driver making it free. Now it's then Cuckoo, am I bad? With a pile driver, he hit it so, so well. Little flick there, another back hill. It's rifles. Look how much power he gets on it. Pope stands no chance at all. And Cuckoo, of course, always gets on that score sheet along with Fofana. 3 0. Last minute of the match. They try to look with a little cross. We clear our lines towards the edge now. And still pick it up again. Little flick one more time. And the final little through ball as well. One of in a new post. I keep my clean sheet at this moment. They've got one more chance to ruin it from the corner. Gather it up. Back to back clean sheets. A 4 0 or a 3 0 victory. Exactly what we need. 8.3 rating this time, 4 saves from 4, and Cuckoo with the Mouder match. Nick Pope got 4.0, no saves for him, he had a shocker. And now we move on to the final match of today's episode, which is against Burnley. We are away from home, can we continue with this clean sheet run and the winning run? I should say, that's more important to win these matches, they get the kickoff. And they get the first opportunity in the 12th minute. It's a lovely little through ball there. Splitting my defensive line into box one and one of me now. Such a good save. Stand on my ground. React as well. Company is not a happy chappy. Look at that look. He looks absolutely fuming of that one. I just stood my ground. Predict a little bit. Move that near post. Another good strong fingertip save by the looks of it. And now we have another pointless little back kill. But there we go. One twos between Gertrude and Chukwe. He picks it back up into Nkuku now. What can he do? Holds the play into Harvey Elliott. No, it's Mudrick actually hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Has Mudrick even scored yet? It's actually atrocious. I don't know why. We do get another opportunity in their keeper performs a ridiculous save there, keeping them in this game nil nil. They do get another opportunity. A little flick from the cross. It was going wide, but I want to build my stats up a little bit more. And now only five minutes left. Aston Villa towards that byline. What can he do? Hits across the goal. Oh my days. It's Matty Cash and rifles. And look at that. If I get touched and push it to my own net, it is so close to sneaking in. I have no idea how or why he's tried that. Half time, all tied up. Nil nil though. Both had okay opportunities. Burnley probably should have scored maybe from the angle if he wasn't so greedy and shooting should have passed it across into second half we go we get the first opportunity into Nkuku lays it off to Lejeune just outside the box takes a shot oh my days he's beat the goalkeeper at that near post pretty disappointed from their goalkeeper because he should be doing loads better I don't know why or how he has not saved that Lejeune's a happy chappy from the midfield scoring from it but it's easy enough as it is little pass into Nkuku lays it off takes a touch and bangs it but the keeper so slow at reacting there falls to the floor but should definitely be making that save when he made that save earlier, he should be making this one. Like, ridiculous. I don't know how he has it, but I will take it. We are 1-0 up. Can we keep going? If I find gets an opportunity to keep it that time, makes that save so much harder than the one we scored from. But we will take it either way. We're still trying to get enough goal to give us a little bit of extra cushion into Fofana. And never in doubt from that tight angle. As easy as you like. Straight at the near post. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. He had acres and acres of space. Look at that dirty moustache. We love to see it. Easy, like I said. I think it's Vitinha with the pass and the assist. But look. 
striker to defend to charge us out at least his goalkeeper in no man's land has no chance 2-0 and that's the final score another clean sheet we've been so dominant there 7.4 rating only one save for me but clean sheet is a clean sheet and a win is a win their goalkeeper 5.9 here did okay but not too bad in the end now looking at the player stats clean sheets 13 clean sheets in 24 matches for me allison 7 in 24 and edison 5 and 23 maximize from fulham as well 5 and 20 castells pope manian up there but top assist gordon stood up there 9 and 18 along with saka but look at that third fourth and fifth chelsea 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 7 6 6 we are two good apparently for assists we're getting up there i should say but now moving on to top goal score ferreira stood up there 18 23 rashford as well 14 23 Diaz up there as well. We also have Fofana and then Cuckoo leading the way for this Chelsea team. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Really just have one channel. Subscribe if you're new. We're so close to 10k subscribers. And turn if you're on so you do not miss a thing. And as always, look after yourself. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.